It was nine years ago when I, when I was walking I noticed some pain and I put up with it for a long time and then I thought I should seek some medical advice and I went to my doctor and uh, he took uh, some x-rays and said, your knees are shot. It was 25 years ago that I was first told that I had problems with the knee um, and that I would probably end up needing a knee replacement. It, it wasn't a sort of an onset of a pain. It was something that had developed over years, like most Australians, playing sport on bitumen when you play basketball or tennis. I wore away the knee. The GP's role in decision making about major surgery like knee replacements varies somewhat, depending partly on the patient. The decision to refer them to the orthopaedic surgeon in the first place is an, is an important one because once they go, it may be out of the hands of the general practitioner. My doctor's an old Scottish doctor and he was very concerned that I would contemplate something like a knee replacement at my age. He had the concerns because he said Basically, there's no guarantee how long these things last. There's no guarantee as to the outcome. You could be worse. You could have had the operation and lost more mobility than what you had prior to the operation. He did express all those things like pain, infection. Um, you could shatter the bone when they put the piece in. Total knee replacement is a major surgical procedure. It's a common surgical procedure. Um, and there are tens of thousands of total knee replacements done each year in Australia, so it's very commonly done. It's usually done nearly all of the time. It's done for what we call end stage or very severe osteoarthritis of the knee through a large incision. And the surfaces of the knee are replaced. And I describe it like a retread on a tire. It's really a resurfacing. So the surfaces of the bone are normally uh, smooth and covered with cartilage. We cut those surfaces away and we cap the ends of the bone with metal. And there is a plastic liner in between to allow for low friction. And it's a, it's a painful procedure. It involves being in hospital for several days and it usually takes several months of recovery before patients are uh, feeling um, energetic and happy again. Well, I had a knee operation, uh, both, both knees replaced about three years ago. Um, prior to that I was suffering considerable, considerable pain, especially walking down steps. And I suppose well, I probably had eight years of pain. Um, I'm a regular gym goer, so um, I made absolutely certain before I had the operation that I um, uh, went to the gym and I did a whole lot of exercises to build up the muscles around my knee. Uh, so the operation itself was um, quite successful. I've had both knees totally replaced. How this all came about, I uh, actually had an accident at work where my right leg got caught uh, under a protruding obstacle and I weigh 100 kilos and I kept moving and my leg didn't. Total knee replacement is major surgery. And it used to be reserved for end-stage disease, in other words, severe osteoarthritis. But more recently, people have been having knee replacements earlier in their disease process. The Australian Commission on Safety and Quality in Healthcare also studied the variation in rates of knee replacement surgery, again finding significant variation across Australia. From the lowest rate of 140 per 100,000 people aged 15 and over, to the highest rate of 330. The year before I decided to have my knees um, replaced, it was really painful all the time, up and down stairs, uh, walking, just general walking, everything was painful. Um, I couldn't exercise as much, which was problematic because you need to, to exercise to keep your muscles strong to support your knees. Um, and I came to the point of having my knees replaced after I tried to walk on the beach one Christmas and couldn't walk on sand. The romantic walk on the beach turned into be something quite different. <laughs> There's very uh, uh, good evidence out there of what a total knee replacement will give you. And it certainly does not give you a normal knee. And that should be uh, reinforced before patients um, decide on having a knee replacement. Patients need to know all the options, so they need to know what the available options are and they also need to know what the outcomes of the different options could be, including if they decide to do nothing. 
So that's something that they should ask their doctor. What if I decide to do nothing? What if I decide to have some physical therapy versus what would happen to me if I have an arthroscope? What's the likelihood that I would benefit? What's the likelihood that I would have some sort of harm? That those are the things that people need to know. The patient's decision should be uh, taken very much into account when deciding on having a total knee replacement. Because as surgeons, we can look at an x-ray and say, well, your x-rays show very severe arthritis. And certainly based on those x-rays, you look suitable to have a knee replacement. But how are you coping? Because many patients can have severe osteoarthritis, but walk unaided, socialize and uh, sleep well and not have interference with enjoyment of their life or their activities of daily living. I tried a number of options. I went to see a sports specialist. I went and saw my medical practitioner. I was about 50 at the time and they were virtually saying that I was really too young to have it because initially the theory was it will last, the first one will last about 15 years, if the second one about the same, but you could have more than two. Having the knee replaced is common and the results of having a knee replaced again are, are still very good. However, the results are not as good as having a first knee replacement um, uh, because often you've lost more bone, uh, there's more um, damage to the uh, tissues around the knee, there's scarring around the knee, so it can often be technically difficult to do and it can often uh, loosen or cause problems sooner.